Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through Target CPA inside Google Ads. I'm going to go over what it is, uh, where you should use it, and my recommendations for Target CPA bidding. Now, first off, what is Target CPA bidding, also known as the Target CPA bid strategy inside Google Ads? And the Target CPA bid strategy is a smart bidding strategy developed by Google, which uses Google's AI to create a target cost per action inside Google Ads. So essentially, you're going to set a certain amount that you want to spend inside Google Ads, and Google is going to try to get Get you conversions for that cost now are you always going to get conversions for that cost absolutely not uh, most of the time it's either going to be under it or over it and google does its best to adjust these things all the levers inside google ads you can adjust uh, but it, it does try its best to get the target cpa also known as the target cost per action down to where you actually want to be acquiring customers for or acquiring conversions for now, what are the benefits of target CPA bidding? And essentially, it allows Google's AI to really take the reins uh, and optimize for conversions inside Google Ads. And this is really nice because maximized clicks will give you a lot of clicks, but it doesn't always give you a lot of conversions. And in order for target CPA to work, you need a lot of data. That's why we use maximized clicks first, and then we switch over to target CPA. Uh, once we have that data, Google can make really, really good decisions and really get your leads down to a really low cost since it has all that data to work with. It knows the adjustments it has to make. And then it can just go around, play with your actual account and really try and bring down your cost per acquisition. And it's really nice. And it's one of the best ways to lower cost per conversion inside Google ads. And it's how we go about actually optimizing our account later on in its lifespan, because Google's AI is just so phenomenal at adjusting all those microscopic adjustments that a normal person isn't going to know about and all the data in the back end. Google's AI can do it so much better. And that's why we use target CPA bidding. That being said, where should we be using target CPA bidding? And we should be using it in accounts like service-based business accounts uh, that it can really grow and thrive in. Uh, if you're using it in a e-commerce account, I generally think maximize conversion value is a better way to go just because you can actually set the price you want to uh, uh, go after instead of the actual target cost per action because a target cost per action for an e-commerce store, you might have two different products, uh, but you're saying to the Google's AI, just get, regardless of the product, get it for that action. And one product might be worth more than another one. And that's why maximized conversion value might be better because it will actually take into consideration, hey, this product is worth this much, much and this product is worth this much. And if we compare the two, I'd rather get conversion slightly more expensive for this one because I make more profit off of it than bidding on this one. And that's what Target CPA doesn't take into account. But if you're getting leads or phone calls and you're just getting inquiries into your business, Target CPA is really the way to go. It's one of the best bidding strategies out there for service-based businesses. And it's the one we use inside Tradesman Digital Marketing for the vast majority of our clients. That being said, we normally start an account with maximized clicks, get as much data into the account. Generally, once we have 30 conversions, we then turn it over to Target CPA. And the nice thing about Target CPA, once you have enough data in the account, Google will recognize what your actual target CPA should be around. Uh, generally, it'll give you an estimate. So say you're getting leads for like $60. It might recommend setting your target CPA for like $70. And generally from there, we generally add like five to $10 just to give Google a little bit more room to run, uh, adjust a few things and optimize the account more quickly than if we really tighten the ropes around it and don't really let it uh, optimize properly and quickly. So that's what we like to do inside Google Ads. We start with maximize clicks and then change it to target CPA once we have enough data and conversions, generally 30, which is either in month one or month two of the actual account. That being said, how do we go about changing our target CPA bid strategy inside Google Ads? And recently, target CPA has kind of been hitting under the maximize conversion conversion bid strategy. So you actually have to go over to maximize conversion and I'll show you this right now. So we're going to come into our Google ads account. We're going to click on the account we want to adjust. So for this one, let's go with our call only campaign pool installation. And what we're going to do is either hit settings or more details. I'm just going to hit settings for sake of simplicity. And then what's going to pop up is the actual bid strategy that we can change. So right here, it says bidding right now it's in maximize clicks. We're going to come down here to change bid strategy. And what we're going to do is click on what do we want to focus on? And we're going to hit conversions. Now, as you can see, it says set a target cost per action. Once we have data in this account, there's going to be a light number already in here. That's the actual target CPA Google recommends in their account. And I generally put five or $10 above that just so it gives Google a little bit more room to run with uh, less lets it make a few mistakes that way it can learn it can optimize it quicker and generally you'll see much better results doing that but i always recommend setting a target cpa because we don't want google just to get as many conversions as possible and just let complete freedom happen because sometimes it'll just spend a whole bunch of money thinking your target cpa might be really expensive and it'll be like yeah you know 250 dollars a lead is really good and in actuality it's like 20 or 30 dollars a lead 
and it's really unique for everyone, but I would always recommend setting a target CPA. That way Google doesn't go off the rails with it. It's just a nice fail safe to have there. So let's say the recommended number is $50. I'd say put $50, $55 in here, and then we can come down and hit save. And we have now changed our bid adjustment, as you can see here, to maximize conversion with target CPA of $55. So that's the target CPA bidding strategy in a nutshell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about target CPA, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.